All right, it's time to put uh, guys like me in our proper place, the YouTube fitness influencer expert, whatever you wanna call us, right? I get a lot of emails and questions from people expecting me to know what they should be doing. Like, what do you think of this routine? And one of the most common ones is, you know, Jeff Cavalier says this, but you say that, and this other guy says this other thing, and how do I make sense of this sort of thing? So here's the bottom line that you really need to understand, is that guys like me on YouTube have no business or authority telling you what you should be doing in fitness. Because ultimately, I, I just don't know you. It's not because I don't have the education or I don't know what I'm talking about or anything like that. It's just in order for a coach to really know what you should be doing, we gotta be doing communication one-on-one -on -one in person or at least through a Zoom call kind of thing. YouTube videos like this, like I post sometimes like push-up tips or uh, tips on things and inevitably in the comments someone will be like, why can't you tell me what I need to do? Or why can't you tell me how to build muscle with push-ups and stuff? And the answer is, because I don't know you. Ultimately, when it comes to you getting the results you want, there's only two things you have to concern yourself with. And the fact they're so fundamental, I put them on the back of this shirt, my Red Delta Project shirt, stabilize and progress. Whenever I'm working with someone, one-on-one, I only care about getting them to two places. That's it. The first is stabilize or just get consistent. It's like, okay, your habits, your diet, your exercise, everything's all over the place. One day you're eating a large pizza, the next day quinoa, salmon salad, the next day you're fasting, the next day you're doing keto, you're all over the place. Can't make much progress with that. Once we have consistency, then we can progress. And that's where the results come in. But getting you to those two places are gonna be completely different for everybody. And there's no way in hell I know how to get you to either of those without knowing you. You know, if you came to me and like, I need to be more consistent, I don't know, one person could be like, I'm gonna be more consistent if I go to a gym, great. The next person would be like, I'm totally inconsistent if I have a gym membership and I need to get out on the trail, okay. One person could say, I need to be more consistent with a diet plan. Another person could be like, I'm more consistent without a diet plan. This is how different things can work for different people. So once we get consistent, then it's about progression. And again, everybody's different. I could meet 10 different people who are trying to build muscle with push-ups and say, okay, you need to progress by getting your hips down and you need to progress by adding reps and you need to progress by decreasing reps and you need to progress by adding repetition and you need to add a weight vest and you need to take off a weight vest, right? Very different for everybody depending on their circumstances, which is why guys like me, we don't have the authority to be in charge. You're in charge. All we can do is give you ideas and suggestions. Don't look for your answers from YouTube because you're not gonna find them here. What do you need to do to lose weight and build muscle and stuff? You're not gonna find it on YouTube. You're not gonna find it on the internet. You're just gonna need to know what do I basically need to do to be consistent and chances are if I ask you right now, because I do this all the time when I do meet with clients, I just ask them the questions. What can you do to be more consistent? How do you think you can improve the diet? I always get the answers right back. You know what you need to be doing to do those sorts of things. And if you get stuck, well, that's where we can give you ideas, but we certainly are in no position to tell you what you should be doing because we don't know. We just give you things and it's your experience and experimenting and trying things out for yourself, that's where you're gonna get the real answers you need. Not from my YouTube videos, not from other videos, but like Jeff Cavalier says sissy squats are bad, you say sissy squats are great. Neither of us can make that call for you. Do sissy squats and you base your decision off of your experience. So a little philosophical perspective for you on Monday. Let me know if you have questions below. Be fit, live free.